Hello friends, uh, Dr. Dawan here, your ENT faculty with Dr. Wills, and I have got the proud privilege of having my friend and uh, a wonderful surgery maestro with me, uh, the author of Surgery Sixer, Dr. Raja Medan sir, who is the eminent faculty member of surgery with us. And I would behave like a neat PG aspirant over here, INSD aspirant over here, and I would like to straightforward ask sir uh, about the guidance, how should I master surgery to get maximum question, question correct out of the INR and PG. My dear friends, you know surgery is a very, very important subject which can determine your rank in this very important exam of your life. So why not take this opportunity to, you know, get the guidance from the master only. Welcome, Dr. Rajamandan, sir. Welcome to the session. Hi, sir. <laughs> very happy to see you after a long time. So hope you are doing well, sir. Uh, yes, sir. thank you very much, sir. Sir, I have a question to all of you, sir. Sir, yes, I, sir. I have done surgery for the prof exam, but not that great. But okay, how sir. do you how would you rate that what kind of preparation is required for the surgery for NEET PG NSTT, which is different from the prof exam preparation of the surgery, sir? Uh, actually, sir, prof exam, we will not be focusing on the minute points. So we would like to clear the essay question, short note like that. We we'll try to finish the those basic questions only. But here in uh, MCQ top, like preparation for NEET PG NSTT and all, we have to go to the core basics, sir. Here we have to understand the basic small points. So there are questions from fine micro points nowadays from uh, Unicet as well as from NEET PG. So I feel they should change uh, from uh, mugging up the concepts to understanding the concepts when they come for this PG entrance preparation. And especially uh, nowadays the questions are more clinical and more uh, uh, video video based, image based, uh, surgery based questions are coming. I hope you know very well. Uh, I think they should change their mode of preparation, sir. Prof preparation is different and uh, NEET PG preparation is totally different, sir. The wonderful, I think the right answer, uh, everybody must have got over there that the prof preparation is not sufficient for the NEET PG INSTD preparation. And my dear friends, you know, if I'm a student, I would have a you know question that, you know, the surgery should be done which way, you know, like conceptually, clinically with the images over there, with the radiology over there. And, you know, the, the how DT content, the doctor's video content would help the student to master the subject in the way it's required for the examination, sir. Uh, that's a very important uh, question, sir, because in doctor tutorials, when I was recording surgery, I had to prepare for one hour class for taking one hour video lecture. I have to prepare for around four to five hours based on new edition Bailey, based on new edition Sabiston. And the videos are made in such a way uh, that, I, uh, that I, uh, I, uh, I, want, I don't want to miss a single point from these two books. So I have made it extensive. That is why the video coverage of surgery will be around 100 to 120 hours in our doctor tutorial lab. And that I, I think that is more than enough. In fact, that is more than enough for NEET PG, INISAT or any exam they are going to appear. That will be the ultimate content you can have, never see in any other platforms because I have seen all the books, latest books I have seen and I have ordered even the fine points which can be expected in the exam. Uh, you can see many questions which are exclusively seen in our doctor tutorials were being asked in uh, INISAT like uh, laparoscopic related procedures, injuries cystic neoplasm, although some questions are very classical questions which I have taken only from Sabiston are all being asked in this exam, sir. So uh, I think this, the, the lectures may look extensive like 120 hours, but if they feel it is very difficult to revise, they can naturally go to 15 hours of revision lecture I have kept. They can easily go for the revision lecture and they can finish off the revision also. That will be easier for them. You mean to say QRP uh, version 5 videos? Yes, sir. Sir. Yeah, I have made yes, a QRP version. Videos. Yes. Yes. It's it's it's, a, it's an absolute uh, I think uh, you know yeah. gold mine for everyone who has a problem with the major content and like if I'm a student I would watch the major content at 1.5x one time I'll uh, you know underline the workbook I have got along with that the the notes and then for the final burst on my brain I would go for the 15 hours you know QRP you know version five videos which are very beautifully cut by sir sir is known for including the updates. My dear friend, recent updates are important. When Sebastian is reviewed, a new edition comes, sir, definitely, you know, takes time out and he puts the new things over there because INSTT particularly wants you to answer the question as per the recent guidelines. So that's important. So in, I have a question as a student to you that, you know, that, uh, you know, the operative surgery steps yes. are important or just the name of surgery is important, sir, as per the latest trends. Uh, from the recent exams, we are seeing some four different, four types of questions are being more asked in clinical subjects. So number one, they are asking the operative illustrated images, like Whipple's operation, illustrated image was asked. Uh, 
some images like illustrated images of a pure store procedure some procedures they are asking like illustrated image they're not asking the intraoperative image but illustrated image they're asking and recently in the recent few exams the second important thing i'm seeing is they are giving the classification images of various tumors various topics in surgery and they're asking what is this classification for example uh strasberg classification image they'll give and they'll ask you where is this image like that they will ask some images and they're asking where is this image from third important question i'm seeing is they are giving intraoperative surgery pictures for example recently we are seeing hernia surgery pictures they are asking what is this structure like anatomy images they used to ask in anatomy cadaver na same way they are asking there is a surgery going on here like salivary gland submandibular surgery going on here what is this now hernia surgery going on here what is this sac like that they started asking surgery intraoperative images and the fourth important i was wondering uh, it was like a viva question usually they will not ask the steps of surgery in uh, pg entrance because it is difficult to ask steps of surgery now recently there are two questions in any set on steps of laparoscopic cholecystectomy steps of hernia surgery these are two viva questions we used to do in final year we will explain each and every steps in the exam but i don't think they are going to ask you what are the steps of gastrectomy or what are the steps of uh, uh, pancreatectomy but they may ask you basic surgery steps like cholecystectomy hernia hydrocele circumcision probably they will be here after asking this type of uh, operative notes yeah. i think this is very important nowadays sir because most students started preparing from many apps so the examiner also knows these students are preparing from app so they will modify according to the present situation they'll go for questions which they cannot read from apps and they should see in the ward so those are final year students and inter uh, interns you should go and watch more things in the theater that is what i always say Wonderful, sir. And that's very helpful, and sir. And the ENT also, we saw the same trend in INSD this time. They asked yes. the steps of uh, the first surgery, and uh -huh. I think that's a very shared kind of you know thing. It means the paper is making you you know like be you know prepared and evaluated for your core understanding of the subject. So there's shortcuts do not work, and you know when you have the you know support of uh, a person like Dr. Rajamendran, surgery can be mastered, and that's what uh, he is known for. Uh, my dear friends, sir, uh, I think as a student, I will have one more question, you know, in my mind, actually. If I have to grossly divide surgery into three to four sub-segments, sir, what comes to your mind, sir? Like, if I have to divide that, sir? Sir, in Dr. Dural's already, we have made the entire surgery into five five headings only. So, there are so many videos, but it is, comes under five headings. The first heading is very important for uh, INISET as well as for NEET PG. That is containing general surgery aspects and trauma. That's the most important because... 40% of the questions, let it be AIMS or uh, NEET PG will be from this area only, like uh, um, nutrition, like shock, suture materials, basic operative things, etc. along with the trauma. So that is the first, first heading I used to have. And I have covered around 25 hours of this topic. 20 hours, I have covered general surgery and trauma alone, sir. And second heading is on final year clinical cases. I used to make it as final year clinical cases because in final year, we will present thyroid case for at least some 20 times, breast case for 20 times hernia case for 20 times oral cancer salivary gland so all the final year clinical cases so which is very commonly studied in your final year i have made them as a separate part two that is section b so we have made five sections of surgery section a is general surgery and trauma section b is all the final year case topics section c is a major uh, topic for aims so you all know very well a lot of gastro questions come in aims so section c is gastrointestinal tract and section d i have made hepatobiliary and pancreatic which is only uh, very commonly asked in aims neat pg may not have more questions in hepatobiliary but aims always ask three or four questions from hepatobiliary and section d i have put all the specialities together in section e it's an extensive session so in dr Durrell's section e of specialty will be extraordinary you can even appear for uh, ms exams with that specialty that much i have put all the contents like urology, vascular, plastic, uh, all the specialties, neurosurgery, everything I have made in depth uh, in in specialties. So these are the five topics in surgery, sir. Only I have made it as five topics. And the same five I have concised in a QRP also. So those who are able, those who may, those who may feel I am unable to revise, don't worry, you read the video first time and then you go for the QRP, it will cover everything. Mostly it will cover Wonderful. everything. Wonderful. Yes, yes, what a beautiful, you know, uh, you know, like uh, guidance from the uh, from the master himself that, you know, surgery for prof is different from surgery for the competitive examination, number one. Number two, you have to be conceptually clear, then superficial, you know, factual knowledge will not be there. They're asking about the operative steps, the post-op complications, 
and the applied anatomy being asked and the intraoperative images being asked means that you have to be really, really thorough with the subject. And guys, need PG INSTT is about the pinnacle preparation. It is not about mediocrity. You know, guys, it's not, it's about excellence and, you know, 200 question deciding, you know, one like one rank out of one lakh ranks in need PG. I think, you know, we should take the subjects very seriously and particularly subject surgery needs and where we have got the five division of surgery in the app. So it means the landmarks are very clear, milestone very clear. Only thing is your hard work required to watch those videos and get the proper knowledge of the subject from sir only. And and uh, the the next question is, you know, sometimes we find, okay, sir, Dr. Gavan, I've done the main videos. I've done the, you know, version five, but my exam is approaching now. I'm got like maybe one or two months left. So is there anything from doctorials which can help me for the final, you know, like critical point, you know, revision of the subject, sir? Anything you would like to highlight about the CPR program, sir, out of this? Sir, we have now two programs in uh, Dr. Rajals. In CPR program, we are going to cover the entire uh, subject in 11 days. And I'm going to take full one full day of surgery. In one full day of 12 hours of surgery, I'll cover everything A to Z in surgery. All the important points I'll cover, but it will be very fast and most speed class. And I request you all, please attend CPR if you're available in one of the cities we have. So we have uh, around six cities we are planning. So Kerala, Tamil Nadu, uh, Hyderabad, uh, Lucknow, Delhi like that. Delhi. We are planning some places you can attend. Yeah, Delhi. And if you are not able to attend the face-to-face -face CPR class, it's also going to be available in online also. So if you're not able to attend, you can attend online CPR class also. That is also going to be available. So last year, CPR was a mega hit, as you know, sir, very well. Last students, yes. you took interview of all the toppers. They were yes. all telling CPR was a very important session for us. It played a major role for them. So if they attend CPR and if they do the previous year question videos, all subjects we have previous year question videos of NEET PG. So for example, surgery 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I have completed. All five subjects, five, five year videos, if they see for all subjects, that's more than enough, sir. That is more than Point enough. Yes. CPR with the videos will be enough during I, I don't want you all to see, uh, read them now. You read now full videos. You have enough time. The exam may be in April or May. So you have enough yes, time. Sir. During the month of March, you can think about those things, sir. Yeah. Wonderful, sir. Yes, uh, this uh, uh, CPR, the critical point recap of all subjects is a very yes, important component or and a tool for the preparation of NEET-PG INSTD, especially curated by 19 esteemed national level faculties of, of all these subjects. We do understand the importance of the content. And if I'm a student, like who is preparing from home, for example, and I am doing the need PG surgery videos of SIR, which are the major content, the main content of the five sections. And I, I do all of them at 1.5x. And I do the conceptual understanding now. In the second cycle, I watch the, you know, like the version five videos of 15 hour of surgery to create one more layer of knowledge in my brain and one revision also. Then if I'm available in Chennai, or Hyderabad, or in you know in Kerala, in Delhi, in Lucknow, we are doing offline CPR. Offline CPR means all 19 faculty travel to your city and make you revise all the critical points of these 19 subjects in face-to-face -face session. What can be a beautiful opportunity? For example, I belong to for example, I belong to Madurai. For example, I'm just giving an example. I am doing I'm doing internship. I can't go here and there. I, I I'm doing self study. I can, you know, you know, go to Chennai for 11 days and do 11 days final, you know, just critical point recap of those subjects with the faculty present in front of you. And by chance, I belong to, for example, you are from some remote city, for example, you're from, you know, Mizoram or you're from Northeast some part and you can't travel to the main cities. Then we have the online CPR session. My dear friends, it's all about pyramidal approach. Keep the base wider when you start the subject. And as you go on the top, you start getting narrower and narrower, actually. But the most important thing is content is very, very important. When you turn narrow, it should not decrease your chances of getting the most question correct, actually. So there lies the importance of people like Raja Mendran, sir, to get, give you the exact thing into, the, into, into the, the version 5 videos also and then the CPR videos also. Guys, uh, I think, you know, you would have got answers for surgery as a subject of your you know, uh, preparation for need PG INICT. I would like to, uh, you know, uh, ask Rajamendran sir, that sir, do you have anything to suggest to students who are preparing for need PG INICT about, you know, their approach for the exam in general as well, sir? Uh, sir, one, one important thing I want to tell you here when you are explaining about CPR. Uh, CPR is done by concerned subject specialists. Sir. That's the most important thing. It's not uh, one or two faculty going to cover all the subjects. Here, all the sub, uh, 19 faculties of Dr. Davis are going to go for 
all the 19 subjects so i have actually for four hours class i'm wondering for three hours class four hours class faculties are coming from different places to different spot to give you the best in the subject so that is the speciality of cpi so that's i want you to insist on that because it's very important and uh, so, since initiate is over sir now i think people will be focusing more towards the neat pg which will come in march so it's time now they should do the previous year questions when they are preparing sir and also they should use our doctoral q bank is the, one of the best q bank from all the students they used to tell when they study a topic and we, when they go and do the doctoral q bank it is exactly matching because the reason is it is done by the faculties only so all the q banks are done by concerned faculties so you'll get motivated with the questions you get more enthusiasm when you read the uh, mcq so i think they should do the question banks along with the video or qrp session sir that's what i feel yeah that's really great and uh, guys what sir is saying don't forget the question because at the end of the day it's not a subjective paper it's objective paper when you are preparing for the video content side by side you do the multiple choice question also and when you have got the video you know like explanation of the all five year subject for questions of neat pg nct i think the material is available for us only thing which what you require is your hard work that's the major major determinant of your success and we are very happy to become partner with you in your journey towards excellence and to get the desired seat in your subject choice in a wonderful medical college uh thank you rajavindan sir my dear friend and my dear yes, colleague sir. and uh, uh, it's very very much uh, uh, privilege to work with sir and uh, you know get stimulated to work even better in our respective fields thank you thank you sir once again thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you sir thank you students thank you all for the session thank you sir bye sir